HVAC technicians and installers typically rely on very nice name brand vacuum pumps whenever they're in the field. I myself have tried everything from Navvac to Yellow Jacket, Field Piece, all the way over to JB, and many, many more. But what about this one in front of me? This is a pump from Harbor Freight. This cost me $89. I've been looking at this thing over and over every time I go into the store because I want to know if this pump can do the job that those other pumps do. Now, it probably doesn't go faster, but can it even accomplish deep vacuum for an HVAC system? Let's find out. The Pittsburgh, and it says automotive, although we're gonna ignore that because I believe the box says you can do HVAC with this thing, and that's what we're gonna do. So it's a Pittsburgh, don't worry about that, 2.5 CFM vacuum pump, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 3.2 amps, 2.5 CFM free air displacement. Has a pretty nice handle on top, a metal handle with a nice rubberized grip, so that's pretty nice. Switches on the back here. On off switch on the back. We have a nice little cord right there. Looks like we have a plastic fan on the inside or plastic fan blade that turns to help cool the pump. On the front there is an oil sight glass, an oil level indicator just like a lot of the other pumps out there. Looks like it has some fins right here for cooling purposes. On top, there is a screw cap to put the oil in the pump. There's two connections on top, a 3 8 and a quarter inch. That's kind of nice. You can hook your 3 8 vacuum hose up to this point. Quarter inch to check the pump, or if that's all you got, then you connect it to the vacuum with the quarter inch. Looks like it's just a nut on the bottom that you take off in order to drain the oil, so nothing too fancy there. And it does have some rubber boots on the bottom to make sure you don't mar any surfaces that your pump is sitting on. According to the Yellow Jacket Wireless Refrigerant Scale, this pump is weighing in at 13 pounds, just under 12 ounces, so it's a very, very lightweight pump. We have our familiar rig set up with our small diameter copper pipe in the middle. It goes into our flare here, then goes into our inch and an eighth copper pipe. At the end of that piping, we have a wide jack pressure probe there, and we have a system pressure test underway right now. 20 minute pressure test with an allowable drop of two PSI. As long as we pass that test, we'll proceed to the vacuum testing. Our leak test passed. We had an allowable drop of two PSI. We didn't drop anything at all. So everything looks pretty good. So we can proceed with testing this Harbor Freight vacuum pump. So we're right at just above 40 minutes, really. Let's take a look at that micron level. 300 microns, which is really, really good. Kind of surprised, actually. So we're gonna do a decay test for about half an hour and see where we stand. The pump ended up being around 91, 92 degrees, so that wasn't a problem at all. As you can see here, though, there's no shutoff for the pump, so we just have to use the valve core remover instead. Gonna turn off the pump. And then we're going to monitor the micron rise. So our vacuum has concluded. I don't know what the results of the decay test are. I went up to my house and had dinner with my family. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes, so I'm really curious what this gauge is going to say. So without further ado, let's turn this thing on and see where we're at. 317 microns. 315 microns. Pretty good. So what do we know about this Harbor Freight pump from doing this test? One. It is capable of a deep vacuum suitable for HVAC residential. Small tonnages at a 2.5 CFM pump would be suited for one to five tons. Number two, we know this VCRT tool holds vacuum very well. This is the Yellow Jacket VCRT tool that actually comes in a set. It is the Real Torque set. It's a set designed to 
allow you to put in Schrader cores at the proper torque and not over torque them. So it's really, really cool. It comes with a few different accessories. I actually have a video somewhere that's about this set. We know that the vacuum pump oil that came with this pump, which is from Harbor Freight, seemed to work very well too. So everything seemed to do a good job. Uh, the pump itself is of, I don't want to say cheap construction, but it's cheaper or less robust than some of the other brands out there. I'll also say that this little port here on the top, this is not 3 8 This must be some sort of automotive fitting. So it is not a 3 8 line. I had to use a quarter inch line, and that's one of the reasons why our vacuum was not as fast as it could have been. I want to mention also that there is no shut off on this pump, so you can't shut off the flow right here at the pump. And I would suspect that even if there was a shut off on one of these pumps, it would not be vacuum rated. Please take the time to go down and comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the test. Were you surprised the Harbor Freight vacuum pump did well? Did you think it would do even better? No, you didn't. You're lying if you say that. You're surprised. I'm surprised too. Would you ever use a pump like this and would you trust its reliability? Maybe you can comment on some of the other tools at Harbor Freight that you've used. I don't think this should be your primary pump, but in a bind or a secondary pump, this might not be a bad idea. It really might not be. I can't believe I'm saying this because I expected this thing to fail miserably, not make it to 500 microns, to be honest with you. And maybe in a system that was a little dirtier, we'd have a different story, maybe. But for 89 bucks, seemed like it was a pretty good deal right there. I ask that you take the time to support the channel as well. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment on the video, that'd be great. If you wanna take it a step further, you can join me as a subscriber on my Subscribestar account, which is similar to Patreon. Help me make the videos and keep the channel going. I really appreciate you just watching. So any of those steps you take beyond that is just icing on the cake. If you have any other video ideas, please just leave them in the comments and I'll try to do them as soon as I possibly can. I know some guys wanted to see a suction filter dryer and bi-flow dryer cut open. I'm gonna to try to do that one fairly soon. Have some other ideas in the works. I also do a podcast, HVAC Shop Talk. Feel free to listen to that. If you have any input on that, show types, you wanna be a guest on the show, just let me know. Try to make that happen too. Hope you guys had a good time, and I guess we should cut this off. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next video.